India's main battle tank, the Arjun, developed by Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO, is a symbol of India's indigenous defence capabilities. Introduced in 2004, the primary purpose of the Arjun is to counter armoured threats from neighbouring countries, particularly Pakistan and China. On the other hand, the Type 99 is a core component of China's People's Liberation Army Armoured Forces, developed by China North Industries Corporation Narenko. Entering service in 2001, the Type 99 was designed to provide a strategic advantage over potential adversaries, particularly in the context of regional conflicts involving countries like India and other neighboring nations. And today, we will compare these two giants, India's Arjun and China's Type 99. Let's talk about design specifications first. The Arjun has a length of 10.64 meters, a width of 3.86 meters, and a height of 2.32 meters. It weighs around 58.5 tons. It has a crew of four, including the commander, gunner, loader, and driver. On the other hand, the Type 99 is slightly longer at 11 meters but narrower and shorter with a width of 3.5 meters and a height of 2.25 meters. It weighs between 52 and 54 tons. The crew of the Type 99 consists of three members, the commander, gunner, and driver. Talking about range and speed, the Arjun is powered by an MTUMB 838KA501 diesel engine, producing 1400 horsepower, and it can reach a top speed of 72 km per hour on the road. The operational range of the Arjun is approximately 450 km. On the other hand, the Type 99 is powered by a 1500 horsepower diesel engine, giving it a higher top speed of 80 km per hour on the road and it has an operational range of around 500 kilometers. Because of Type 99's more powerful engine, higher speed, and slightly longer range make it winner for this section. Coming to the firepower, the main gun of the Arjun is a 120mm rifled gun, which is unique because most modern tanks use smoothbore guns. This rifled gun can fire a variety of ammunition types such as APFSDS, heat, and HESH rounds, providing versatility in different combat situations. It can also launch the Lahat anti-tank guided missile, which adds to its firepower. The secondary armament includes a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and a 12.7mm roof-mounted machine gun, enhancing its defensive capabilities. The Type 99, on the other hand, is equipped with a 125mm smoothbore gun, which is standard in many modern tanks. This gun can fire various types of ammunition, including armor piercing and guided missiles, allowing it to engage different types of targets effectively. Its secondary armament includes a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and a 12.7mm anti-aircraft machine gun, similar to the Arjun. Overall, for firepower, the Arjun wins due to its unique rifled gun and versatility in ammunition types. Coming to protection, the Arjun uses Kanchan armor, which provides strong protection against various threats. This composite armor is designed to withstand direct hits from enemy tanks and anti-tank weapons. The tank also has blow-off panels to protect the crew from ammunition explosions. Additionally, the Arjun is equipped with laser warning receivers and smoke grenade launchers for active protection, increasing its survivability on the battlefield. Talk about the Type 99. It features modular composite armor and explosive reactive armor to protect against anti-tank missiles and shells. It also has a laser warning system and a laser self-defense weapon to blind enemy optics and rangefinders, which provides an extra layer of active protection. The Type 99's combination of advanced armor and active protection systems enhances its survivability in modern battlefield conditions. Therefore, the Type 99 wins here. Talking about mobility. The Arjun uses a hydropneumatic suspension system, which helps to distribute its heavy weight of 58.5 tons evenly, reducing ground pressure and improving mobility over rough terrain. But, the Arjun's heavy weight poses challenges for transportation. It cannot be transported by the Indian IL-76 heavy transport aircraft and requires the Boeing C-17 Globemaster III instead. On the other hand, the Type 99 is lighter, weighing between 52 and 54 tons which contributes to its better mobility. 
It also has an advanced suspension system that allows it to perform well in various terrains, including mountainous regions. This gives it an advantage in terms of cross-country performance and overall mobility. Additionally, its lighter weight makes it easier to transport by standard military transport aircraft without significant modifications. Therefore, for mobility, the Type 99 wins. Regarding technology and electronics of the tanks, the Arjun is equipped with an advanced fire control system developed by Tonbo Imaging and Bharat Electronics Limited. This system provides high accuracy and effective targeting both day and night. It also has night vision and thermal imaging systems that enhance its combat capabilities and low visibility conditions. For communication, the Arjun uses modern data link systems that allow for secure and efficient information exchange between units, improving coordination on the battlefield. On the other hand, the Type 99 features a sophisticated fire control system that offers high accuracy and quick target acquisition. It is equipped with night vision and thermal imaging systems, and also has advanced communication and data link systems that ensure effective coordination and information sharing with other units. But overall, in terms of technology and electronics, the Arjun wins for its advanced fire control and imaging systems, ensuring superior targeting and battlefield awareness. Talking about cost and number of tanks in service, each Arjun tank costs approximately $8.3 million. The Indian Army has about 118 Arjun tanks in service, with production continuing at a slow rate due to the complexity and cost of the tank. In contrast, the Type 99 is less expensive, with estimates around $2 million per unit. China has produced a large number of these tanks, with over 600 in service. The lower cost and higher production rate make the Type 99 more cost-effective and valuable in terms of quantity and deployment capabilities. Thus, Type 99 wins here. In summary, Arjun emerges as a highly advanced and capable tank, particularly in areas of firepower, technology, and cost-effectiveness. The Type 99 stands out in terms of mobility and protection. Both tanks are formidable assets for their respective countries, reflecting the strategic priorities and technological advancements of India and China. Which tank do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.